I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. That ass KP, because he part of the salary increases, and then we're gonna get into the pantry, baby. Let's go. Uh huh. It got heated tonight in the south suburbs. The embattled supervisor. It got heated tonight in the south suburbs. The embattled supervisor of Thornton Township squared off with members of the township board over spending. So, so trust me, how do the grass get cut? So how do the grass get cut? So these are the games we play. I don't come here to be clickbait, guys. We come here to take care of the business. But right now, not letting the business handle y'all. And that's not how you go. Oh, my God. Does that not sound like deja vu? You could, you could at least be a little bit better, sister. At least change your lines up a little bit. You're using the same lines you're using Dalton, and you're using it Dalton. The, the same shit. And it, it's sad because you're on TV. Now, one day, if I have the, you know... I'm going to just put all the videos of her saying the same shit over and over and over, okay? Because that's all the hell she do. Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard was accused by board members of keeping certain items off tonight's agenda, including an ordinance board members say would cap spending by the supervisor. As a result, some board members refused to approve the hiring of landscaping contractors for the township. Henyard is also the mayor of Dalton and the subject of lawsuits and investigation. Seeing certain I items right here. Y'all know I got to be Aggie. So y'all was at this meeting. You telling me K Price was sagging like this? You telling me this fat bastard was sagging like this? And this is the person who's supposed to be representing or being any type? This is, is that sagging? Is that his draws? You telling me this grown ass man draws is out like this? No, it better be just the shirt and the pants under there. Somebody should have just pulled them drawers down. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got distracted. All right, anyway, oh my God, that is just disgusting. We're going to ride here. We're going to ride him like a donkey coming soon. It's your time. It's your time. All right, let me see. Can I um, start moving some stuff around? Bear with me, guys. Uh, okay, is this? I got to bring some other stuff to the other screen. Okay. Where we at? Okay, we did this one. We did that one. Now we're going to get into Keith. Price, yes, we're gonna get into his thick ass. Bear with me, guys. I'm getting some stuff together and I'm clearing my screen up so it don't be so much stuff up there. All right, I think I got one more thing to put in there. All right, let's get it. Please hit the like button. Y'all see me working hard over here. All right, so this is what I want to put up. I think I got this. Who is this? Now, this is what I thought. I was going to add this person because I thought he was going to be, I thought he turned, but I'm not sure because we're not hearing too much from the public works department and Stacy as well. Stacy is Stacy, Stacy Carell, this guy. We're going to put him up there because I thought he turned already. But I don't know if he turned yet with the salary like this, okay? This was put up by, and I got to go, I'm about to go to the group right back now because I got to give you your shout out. Oh, my God, I'm on Tiffany Henry page. Oh, let me stop. Ugh. I'm terrible. I'm going to have to, I'm just going to, um, all of the uh, photos because I want to, what? I want to make sure that I give everybody their respect because they've been putting in that work in Dalton Page, all right? And I've been creeping. Let me switch. I've been creeping and I've been downloading a lot of the, like, the files that they have up there and things just so I can bring it to y'all. 
All right. Now, just bear with me because I just want to make sure I got the right person name, the one who put this up here. Because he, Naji, Naji, I think his name is Naji. He is the same person. His name is Ty. Ty Najini. Najini. Let me put him on a thing. Yeah, he was the one. I tell his damn name up. God forgive me. You was a smart man. Let me put you on a thing real quick. Let me take this off and I'm going to put the adults in politics. Did y'all know I dissected his name? Terribleness. But this is the gentleman right here. Ty. Ty. And he is on point. And he was the one that was on Jedediah's live last week going over some of these, talking about, you know, how he was um, doing a lot of the um, funeral information requests. He's the one that's been putting a lot of these documents up with the numbers. So shout out to you. I guess he owns a tax help office. You're doing a great job. I pray that you get all the recognition that you're supposed to because you've been putting in that work. It is not easy to do all this shit. But I did take a few of his posts just to show y'all what's going on. Okay, so let's just get that off the screen because I wanted to say uh, shout out to him, even though I, I tore his damn name up. Now let's get to Stacy Carell because I thought Stacy was going to be turning on Henry because I did that long live because he was mad as hell. Check sitting there, just play by yelling at him. But check this conversation out. Check it out. So, expect the calendar conversation for 2024 is 92,000. So, he's almost making $100,000 a year right now. But the, the problem is, is that the increase of salary over the years, and that's the fucking problem. So, according to this document, or this PowerPoint in um, 2021, and that I think that was the year 2021 where it was the most spending in Dalton. I mean, Thornton. Remember when we went through the papers? 2021, right after that to 2022, those was high spending years, okay? And all that COVID money went in. So this was allegedly his increase of compensation. And that's why you had articles talking about, oh, Henry, there is basically discrepancies in pay. All right? So that is his. This is another gentleman from the public work department looking like, Shut up. He looked like the people who got hit. Like, you ever saw that movie, The Hill Got Eyes, with that family who was the killers? He looked like the uncle that was putting people on a chopping block. Shh. I'm sorry, but he getting paid. So, um, basically, it seems like over the years, even but as Hanger came in, because in 2015, he was getting $30,000 compensation. That's not a good income, but okay. So, when he, in 2021, when Hanger came in, he went up to 71. 2022, 126, 2023, $146,000. What the hell is he doing? I want his job. Oh, peanut head ass. How you get in making all this money? Something is not right, y'all. So I'm glad that they're doing what they're supposed to do over there in um, Thornton because she is milking the cow. This is just the start of the presentation. Just a start of some of the stuff that I was just pulling. Like, let me just the people who are not on Facebook, you know, don't engage. You see what the hell is going on in the background. That group stay on point. It be messy. They be messy as hell. They drag Henry every minute they could get. I mean, they wake up on drag, go to sleep on drag. Okay, darn. Do everyone makes close to a hundred thousand dollars a year, baby? Trying to be Henry, friend. Told her I'm her sister. Shit. Over there, you I just gotta be her friend and you'll get in there. You could be her assistant. Um, and then how does how much do the trustees make per year? They didn't put that in the group. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not biased. I am that's probably why people are comfortable with me. Whatever I find, I will put out there, but it's no they didn't. I, I'm not seeing that specifically. But if it's something that's weird, it'll be something that I'll put out. But they I don't I didn't see that. He only had like four or five different people, and it's none of the trustees. Um, mm -mm. oh yes, he spilled all of the tea. All right. Um, shortly after Tiffany took office, everybody who was on her side got pay increases. Allegedly. That's why feds wanted all those documents. Can somebody say Rico? Yeah. 
baby, they need to move a little bit faster, though. Shit, they're gonna wait till the end of the election to turn. Mm -hmm. Just pull our ass out. They like, no, somebody has to be there. Nobody has to be there. Thornton and Dalton, y'all need a break. Y'all have been traumatized. We have been traumatized. We don't need none of this shit. We don't need to take all this shit back. All right, so let me see if I have anything else to show you. I, I probably do have a, so I showed you that. I showed you that. I'm, I'm going to look to see if there's any more things in um the group that I pulled up. No, I just pulled up this picture one more again. I just pulled this shit over. This is what I pulled up in the group. That's the last important thing. That ass right there. That's embarrassing, grown ass man with his sweaty drawers. All right, hit the like button. Now we're about to go to Keith Price. KP. Let's find out a little bit about KP. Hold on. Hold on. Did you, did you say that was him? Hold on. Was it him? Let me see. Um, I'm trying to upload. That's Stacy. That's William. They have um, Williams pictures up there. I'm trying to see because I thought I had the actual slide where it was the um, Keith Keith Price payment, but I do I did pull some stuff up about his salary, allegedly what it's supposed to be because it's public information. But let me tell you this. Let me get a little messy before I get into uh, KP thicker than a snicker. Now I didn't get into the case because I was you know I, it's just too much right now. But do you know Gerald Jones versus Turn Thornton Township and Keith Price? Do you know is they fighting each other? Do you know they got a lawsuit against each other? This is the most messiest I ever seen in my life. I was like, oh snap, this gonna be a fucking problem. Gerald don't want to have nothing to do with none of this shit, and then you about to put his no arts and nemesis over the finance? Oh my god! Let me see. This is a tort um intentional tort non-injury um common law retaliation so the cause of the action just is just a little bit about it um count one common law retaliatory discharge against all defendants for 515 who the fuck got fired gerald count two violation of illinois whistleblower act all defendants filed 515 count three conspiracy under 42 usc against all defendant count four common law and in international in, intentional infliction of emotional distress against all defendants and this is gerald going against kp and this was filed on may 15th 2024 i gave you something new i was like oh shit what so we'll get into that and see once I find the full case and see what the hell going on with them too. But y'all better pay attention to them at that board meeting. They probably in there start fighting and shit. So I'm fine. Because Keith Price is already in trouble for retaliatory against all defendants. And I should have showed and I didn't show it. And I'm not going to go back. But Keith Price started cursing. And he was like, I'm tired of this shit in, in the middle of the meeting. And uh they just let it go on. Like, didn't escort them out, say, so get the hell out. You're not acting right. And if he's taking on an administrative position, he already fucked up. He already showing you what type of monster and disgusting person he is. Okay? Especially with them dirty ass draws. He make me mad. Hold on. Let me put this up here. Let me see something. Do I got this? I think I got a video of him. Here we go. There you go. Let me go. We, we're going to get into his salary, too. And then we're going to get into the food pantry. OK, I'm working on it. We're working on it. I got time, baby. You got time? I got time. Um, also, food pantry. That's another thing that the board of trustees vote for. They vote to give you food every single Wednesday. Uh, Keep price. Yikes. Of the food pantry. And it's an awesome child. You have over 500 people every Wednesday, just about. Come through that line. That alone, every day, we go to your homes, the residents' houses, and we drop food off to your house when you cannot get to us. We have so many things coming up, but it just get overshadowed with negativity. And that's why I tell everybody to come yeah. and find out for yourself what we do here at Thorn Township. Keep um, price. I'm going to put the original video down at the bottom. This is Chicago Red with Twisted Politics. Chicago Red. Politics with a twist. I'm not Shout a out to you, Booby. 
because I saw that video. I was like, yes, that's all I need for the people to know that this jigger is in charge of the food pantry. Ordering food, packing the shit up, getting people to do it, hire and fire, and distribution. How do he qualify for an administrative position dealing with people's money? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. I just want y'all to remember, red light, red light. Now, let's see. Um, Let me just, <clears throat> should I troll? That's enough. I don't want to hear that. I, I got the um, abstract from the board meeting from 325 with Keith Price Township employee. This was his public comment. Come in commends the supervisor. He expressed how it saddens his heart to see how many people attack the supervisor here for things that have that have also been done in the past. He like, don't change shit up now. Fuck the feds. Fuck the feds. I'm really going to put the document up here because y'all know I just be reading stuff. That This is from the special board meeting. Y'all just want to read so I can call his ass out. He said, fuck the feds. I don't care about them. We about to do this shit the same way. Fuck about that. He's strong and wrong, just like Henger. That's why they best fucking friends. They don't know when to fucking cat. So here we go. What'd he say? What'd he say? He mentions he has seen supervisor give highway commission departments funds for streets and, in, and unincorporated areas. The numbers have skyrocketed at this township and says he's always noticed that people that come up with so much anger and hate are people who used to be employees of Thornton Township. Yes, probably if you wrongfully fired them because they were talking about the wrong shit you were doing and giving you the side eye, you're damn right. I, I think that will happen. So this is a gov gov salary. I'm gonna pull this up. This is this is this is not this is not the truth. We're gonna look. This is not the truth. This is what they say uh, Keith, Keith Price made on Gov salary. They over there lying. They over there lying. The fuck? I don't believe they. So this is what they say Keith Price made on government salary. Keith Price D, Thornton. Um, okay, Keith Price D in 2023 was an employee. Let's look at what the hell employee he was. Job title. Not equitable. Okay? We don't know. But in 2023, was employed by Thornton Township and had an annual salary of $80,000, according to the public record. The salary was 15, 115% greater than the average and 169% greater than the medium salary in Thornton Township. He's making a, over 115% more than the average person in Thornton Township to criticize, to harass y'all, to talk to y'all like shit. This jigger. So key data, what is this employer authority? So a year number. So these are the people who work under him. So he makes about 80,000 and I don't believe that's the right number, but we're going to give him that. But his employees who pack the boxes and distribute it, their main, main medium income is about $37,000. Okay. Mm. That was how much the public work person was making before. Hmm. So yeah, I just, I found this very interesting. And now we're going to move on. And again, I'm going to put this PowerPoint up here so you can see um, Tax Help Office, who presented it. Ty, yep, we're gonna, I'm going to give him his shout out. You did your thing. If you ever would like to come on this platform with me and we present something together and we talk about it, because you know I like numbers and obviously you do too. I'll, you can send me something, I'll go into it, and then I'll ask you some specific questions so you can break it down to the people. We have a real interview. Set it up. Okay, because you got the juice, baby, and I just got the perspective and the patience. Hmm, that's all I got. That's all I got is the perspective and the patience, and whatever y'all send me, I'll put that shit together for you. So shout out to Ty. Love you, boo. You're doing your fucking thing, okay? Never let nobody tell you you're not. I hope you get all, all of the glory, because financially, you're putting in that work, and that's what's very important, too. So now... See my face? Dun, 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 dun. I had to put the big forehead on. I had to put the uh, the Barbadian forehead. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's go. We're about to get to these papers. Now, this is what I want y'all to 
X. Now, this is what I'm questioning. I questioned this before when I did that five hour live. It stood out to me like a sore thumb. Like, what the fuck is happening at the food pantry? Who run the food pantry? And everybody told me Fat KP. I was like, oh shit. Oh shit, Fat KP. Can't have they doing shit like that? All right, let's get to it. So, this is the general assistant fund for 2024. So I guess we're going to work backwards because I got 2001, like this goes back to 2022. And then the other document I have from 2023 and it goes to 2021. So it's kind of like a repeat of the data, but we're going about to watch this right here. Now, again, I need you guys to pay attention. Pay attention, Lisa. All right, we have to get to these numbers real quick. Now, again, I broke this document down to you already. This is 2024 budget appropriation for Thornton Township, the general assistance funds. You can go and get it, 2024. Now, what I want you to do, as I explained to you, is going to break down the revenue that came in and the expenditures. This breaks down it pretty simple. It starts off with the revenue. At the top of this page, I can't highlight it, but you'll see it say revenue. So this is all the revenue that Thornton is brought in between 2024 to 2022. At the bottom, and, and, and that's the revenue for the general assistant fund. Let me correct that because you have a general fund that's different. They've been taking loans and grants and just divvying them up in different shit. But this particular fund right here. So again, the revenue is this short ass page right here. Just half of this. This is your revenue, baby. This ain't no lie. You have revenue from real estate taxes, real estate uh, taxes, interest, senior youth and food taxes, investment income, zero, um, TT funding donation, TT funding donation. Somebody had told me what that was before and I forgot. Tell me again. Y'all got a grant income. Now here in 2022 in the general assistant fund, y'all have a $406,000 grant income. Y'all see that right there? I can't highlight it, but where's where my mouse is at? Now, if you move over in 2024, there's supposed to be another grant coming in or came in this year some way before 2, 229, 2024, of $4 million. You had a $4 million infusion of a grant income. Um, dang it, I had this clip that one of the people were talking about the grants. And I'm, I think I'm going to pull it up because it's going to explain to you because people think grants is just free. One of the grants that the public works department that I had just looked at had got, it was a grant for $100,000, but they had to put up 20%. So these grants, you have to put up money sometimes to make the initiative. And also, sometimes you have to pay them back. So y'all need to find out about these grants. But we're going to get down to the expenditure. And we're about to get down to Harvey Food Pantry. Now, let's get back to the numbers. This is what I want you guys to pay attention to, because this is actually the most important part of the live. And this is where you need to pay attention to the actual right here in this section. You're going to see the total revenue for or the budgeted revenue right here for 2024 is about thirteen thousand eight hundred and eighty three dollars. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Thirteen million. I do apologize. Thirteen million eight hundred and thirty two thousand dollars. OK at or about. And it's been pretty average as far as the income. Okay. Now you have some expenditures here. Expenditures is what's going to be subtracted from this number. And this is what you're going to see if you're going to get a deficit or you're going to have a surplus. In the expenditures right here, it says administration division. And that's all of these items right here. And you can see what's under there. They spent about $6 million on all of these items, administrative personal um, services like salary, Medicaid, payroll, unemployment insurance. It's a lot that falls under it. And commodities, office supplies. Uh, uh, hold on. Commodities, office supplies. Woo, that's $23,000. Oh, that was separate. Hold on one second. I'm trying to see the total of all the administration um, division, everything that falls under here. I think it's actually all of this right here. OK, so now that's that's human resource paying out utilities, telephone, postage, and that is under administrative. Now, I need you all to look at Harvey Food Pantry. If you don't pay attention to anything, this is what I brought up before. 
it does not make sense on what's going on in Harvey Pooh's food pantry. This is all expenditures. This is taking out everything below what I said was coming in, that little section. Now, this is everything that you're spending, okay? Harvey Food Pantry, what I have a, a problem with is this particular situation. You have the pantry food purchases in 2024, 900,000. 2023, 7,900,000 about. 2022, 826,000, okay? That is the food purchases because I think that food is what y'all give out, right? Now, you have another line under there that I really need you guys to pay attention to. On this line right here, it says pantry food donated. How do you have over $5 million of food donated in 2022, in 2023, and in 2024, you're going to have $3 million? And it says pantry food donated. This is not a plus. This is a negative. Because when you get down to the bottom, this is total Harvey food pantry. This is the spending. And each year they spent about $6 million, excluding this year, it went down almost $2 million. Each year, you need to ask, what is food pantry donated? Because it's six million dollars close to it's five hundred, like five hundred million right here, five hundred and five hundred and a half. You can see it, and this is what was alarming to me the first time I went into Dalton Registry and started looking. This food pantry, again, it is ran by him. Let's put this guy on the screen. I think Dalton, you, I mean, in Thornton, there's a little problem here. This is dangerous. Y'all need to find out why they made this man take Keith Price's place and the food pantry that he's been over for years has such a big budget and have over $6 million close to every year going out in donations, but the food purchases are different. Okay, can I put the can y'all see this? Let me see. Can I um zone it up just a little bit? Can you see it? This is what I need y'all to pay attention to. Pantry food donated five million dollars plus. This is for 2022. Again, 2023, five million plus. This year they're only doing three million. That's all I'm asking. When you look at the other numbers here. They're cheap. They're, they're, they're much less. Like special project, $113,000. Then $76,000. Holiday blanket is $121,000. Then two hundred dollars A little bit steep. But these numbers, you lost me at the $6 million. So I wanted to highlight that. I can also get into the other document, but the other document is the same thing. Pretty much there is too much money coming out of your food pantry. Now... I'm so glad that God made me think about it that time because when I looked at Keith Price, I said, what the, is he from the food pantry? Oh my God, it is so much money coming out of the food pantry. Allegedly. Y'all need to watch that. So that is what I want you guys to pay attention to. The last thing I'm going to go over is into the credit. Um, Basically, it looks like Hendrick has her hands on this credit card. So if you want to see it, there's a reason why Thornton trustees are putting their foot down. You can see it, obviously, in these documents. At the bottom of this page, you're going to see Food for Less for $136, Food Junction, South Holiday, $363, Subway, two Subway transaction on one eight. It posted on one eight. One was from one six and one from one ten. So um no, they were some from one six and one six. I do apologize. Um, so basically, Hendred is spinning like a fool. The news is not lying, the proof is in Dalton. Um, uh, I mean in, in Dalton politics page. I want you guys to keep on doing what you're doing. 
because y'all handling your business. Y'all on her ass from when y'all wake up to when y'all go to sleep. And that's what it is. Keep the pressure on her. But what I will say is just pay attention to the candidates that you have for each of these positions. Get to know them. Don't be just distracted, you know, about just all the stuff that we constantly sharing on the Internet. Um, and just focus on building for yourself. I'm going to be honest, because whoever's in office, you're going to have to know how to maneuver around them. Even if you get somebody you like, you don't like. And that's why I always talk about being self-sufficient. That's why I was talking about you understanding and have critical thinking. So you won't have your hands out and say, hey, I need this. I need that. You're just going to keep pushing. You're going to look for resources. They're going to give it. They don't. You move forward. Y'all come together collectively, work together. I love what I was hearing where someone was talking about um, having like, I know I mentioned a neighborhood watch months ago about because y'all can't trust the police. But they were talking about like a neighborhood program that y'all was going to get together and start like you know really tackling issues together that is what i'm talking about grassroots you guys depending on each other you're being task orientated sticking to the facts leaving the emotions alone shut the fuck up shut up y'all sometimes i get emotional because i'll be where everybody love each other and work together i don't be liking that sideball shit i don't like it it is what it is. But love and peace to everybody. I'm going to leave it like that. I hope I presented a good uh, presentation to you guys and gave y'all a lot of information to work with. I'm going to leave all the links at the bottom. All those links is in Thornton. So I put a great presentation for you guys to see what's going on. Let's keep our fingers crossed that fat ass is not going to be in that position. He is dangerous. Thicker than a snicker KP is a dangerous person to put in there. Please ask what's going on with the food pantry. There's over... Close to $5 million each year coming out of Food Pantry as I highlight two donations. Who the f is getting those donations? Hmm? All right. So with that goes to say, I'm going to sign off. I don't even have no music to play with for you guys. But you know what I do have? I'm going to have a closing. I'm going to let y'all know that I have a video that I'm going to release tomorrow. Um, it's going to highlight the foundational like information of how Dalton is was when Tiffany first got in and how she went on a rapid spring of spree. We're going to show that. And then what I'm going to be trying to do is get into whatever else I can find about Dalton and what type of situation they're in at this point. Cause I think she has um, basically ran the well dry. She literally spent all these people money. And then what's going on, what really bothers me is that they're saying that they're going to get their money from taxation and it, it, it pissed me off because y'all already know i'm fighting mines right here y'all ain't about to tax me and that's why i'm teaching y'all how to fight so i love you guys y'all have a beautiful night thank you for being here with grace levi love you have a blessed blessed day let's listen to some tupac on the way out tomorrow like, he's a me I only feel the atmosphere of coordination. I can learn. Oh, yes, I'm not I hear you. The drunk as Yeah. Yeah, slide the city. Let's go. Oh, man, she must only slide the city. Slide the city. Imagine if my small business blew up overnight and I woke up to some sales. Boost this video so people who like my products can find me. Algorithm. Where you at, bitch? Cause I'm tired of posting viral content and getting two and a half likes. We finna fight home.